Thank you, Father God, for this meal we're about to eat, dear Lord. We ask you to nourish our bodies with it. Pray this prayer. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Welcome to the Renard Family Channel. Today, I'm going to be making some burgers. But it's not going to be just burgers. It's going to be some sour cream bacon burgers. And for my ingredients, I have here some ground beef. We have some real bacon. This is the kind that you will use in your salad. But if you prefer not to use this kind, you can very well fry up you some bacon and crumble it up. And it works just as good. We have some sour cream. We have some mozzarella cheese sliced. Some sliced American cheese. I have here cut up an orange pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, and an onion. This is optional. You do not have to use this. But we here love sauteing this up and putting it on our burgers. We have here some sandwich thin buns. This is what we will be using to put our hamburgers on. We have some ketchup, mayo, Miracle Whip, garlic powder, and onion powder, some saison, and some complete, and some black pepper, and a couple sticks of butter we will be using to toast our buns and saute up our vegetables. So I will get everything ready and be back. Okay. We're going to get ready to season up our ground beef with some saison, some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, some complete. And I'm going to put like, I'll say, two tablespoons of the sour cream. And a ham, like a Full of the bacon bits. You know, mix it all in. And this is a uh, half a peck of the meat. Ground beef can get tough, y'all. Okay. Get ready to put it on the stove. Okay, y'all. My skillet heated up. We're gonna let it cook. I'm gonna fry these burgers on up. 
then we're going to move on to our next step. And I left out one ingredient, y'all. Either some beef broth or chicken broth. Today I'm using chicken broth. While your meat is frying, put a cup of chicken broth in your skillet. Okay, this is how the burgers are looking so far. I like to steam them in either the chicken broth or the beef broth because it keeps them nice and juicy and it um help gives extra flavor. So right about now, we're going to get ready to saute up our vegetables. Now, if your burgers start to fry up because the broth is pan cut it out or cooked in there, just pour you some more. And make sure you keep some in there to keep your burgers nice and moist. I'm just coming back to show you guys that. Okay, so after your meat is done, you want to add on your cheese. I use this mozzarella in American. But, and also you can just use the one. You don't have to use them both. Different types of little cheese on there. Okay. So you let that melt and you take it out. Okay. I have half of a stick of butter and my yellow pepper, orange pepper, green pepper, and onions in here. We're going to let this saute. And I'm going to show you guys what we do with this. Okay, we're going to put one of these burgers together. I have toasted the buns. They like um, Miracle Whip on theirs. Um, hamburger still hot. This the um bad pepper, onion, orange pepper, yellow pepper. We just put on this bun. Drain the juice. We don't like the um, whole tomatoes. We like to use the diced tomatoes in the can on this burger. And if you want ketchup, she can put ketchup, mustard, or whatever they want on there. Just the burger. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have a comment, do leave a comment. Tell your friend and loved ones what we're doing on this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, what you waiting on, huh? What you waiting on? What you waiting on, huh? What you waiting on? Do know that the Renault family love each and every one of you guys, but God love us all. Good night. Thank you, Father God, for this meal we are about to eat, dear Lord. We ask you to nourish our bodies with it. Pray this prayer. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen.